ลูกชั่วโมงลูกชั่วโมงเวอร์ช36 Chapter 2 verse 36 Now there was one Anna a prophetess the daughter of Phanar of the tribe of Asher Uh, she was a great age, and had lived with husband seven years uh, from her virginity, 37. And this woman was a widow of about 84 years, who did not depart from the temple, but served God with fasting and prayer day and night. Uh, I uh, here talk about a woman in advanced age, the prophetess Anna. Uh, you know, he, uh, she only married seven years and husband died. In the Old Testament time, uh, when a person lose husband, a person lose income. Uh, so usually a uh, widow is almost the same words like uh, poverty uh, is connected. And also in the Old Testament time, uh, or in that generation, uh, man is the head of family. So when the husband die, uh, the person don't have any social uh, status to be respected. Uh, so uh, this woman, uh, Hannah, uh, actually, the background is uh, quite pitiful, uh, only married seven years. Uh, yeah. But in advanced age, 84, right? uh, in the uh, past few weeks, we have the attribute to the elderly uh, members, right? Not many people really can live to the age of 84. Uh, for a person to live to the age of 84, it really is a grace of God and blessing of God. Uh, and for a member in the age of 84, the church cannot expect the member to do anything, right? But in the age of 84, uh, she still can serve God. And this is what we can learn. Uh, so advanced age, uh, she still can serve God. The way she serves God is not helping cleaning, washing the dishes, uh, vegetation, or uh, this kind of uh, energy-consuming job. The way she's serving God is through prayer. Uh, uh, so now, we look into our own age. Uh, some of you are very young. Uh, you are in E2, or J1, or J2. Uh, how can I serve God? Uh, besides, the last time we talked about uh, serving God actually is serving man. Uh, now, serving God means we serve through prayer. Uh, and here talk about uh, from day and night, uh, she prayed in the temple. Uh, did not depart from the temple, but served God with fasting and prayer. Uh, the temple of God is a temple of prayer. Uh, of course, we can pray at home. Uh, God is everywhere. But a lot of people have the experience when we pray at home, it seems uh, we cannot concentrate our mind because a lot of distraction. Sometimes telephone ring and sometimes this and that. Right? But when we come to the church, we already uh, separate ourselves from the family. Uh, we come with a purpose, I want to pray. So it's easier to concentrate our mind in prayer. Uh, and the second reason is the church. Church means a group of people. When we are uh, having service in the name of Jesus Christ, and according to the Bible, then Jesus is already in the midst of us. Uh, and 
more people pray together, it will be more powerful. Uh, so uh, prayer in the temple of God uh, actually is an advantage. Uh, we thank God that in urban church, within 15 minutes driving distance, almost everybody can come to church, right? Most of us. If you have been living in East Coast, uh, you know a lot of time you drive one hour to church. One hour is considered normal. Right? We only 15 minutes, right? Uh, so Sunday morning, uh, if we can join the prayer, 9 a.m. here, is a way to serve God. Oh, right? Oh, yeah. But in order to join the morning prayer, we have to get up early. Right? Uh, 9 a.m., if we want to join the morning prayer, or uh, 10, 15, we want to join the prayer in the Sabbath. When should we get up? At least one hour, right, before the prayer. Nine, you have to get up at eight. Okay? Oh, prepare yourself ready and have breakfast and come to the church in time for nine. And in order to get up earlier, then we have to sleep earlier, right? Oh, so prayer earlier actually oh, it will help us to uh, live a very healthy lifestyle. Oh, it's good for us. Oh. And when we come to the church or we are at home, what should we pray for? Uh, first, we pray for the upcoming spiritual convocation or evangelical service. You know, some of uh, the youth in your age, oh, they are really stop coming to the church. Oh, right. Beside their parents, I pray for them. Oh, we are the same age, we can pray for them too. Oh. Yeah, this is one of the ways uh, to serve God uh, by praying for other people. Uh, and some of the uh, truth seekers, they bring their uh, children to the church and we can pray for them so that uh, they can experience Holy Spirit, they can experience God and when they come to the church, they have more positive and more peaceful and joyful experience. And that they don't, they will come back again. Oh, so even though we are young, oh, we, we, we can do a lot for God oh, uh, through serving men and through prayer. Oh, so we still have one month to go. How can I serve God? Very simple. I pray that God bless and guide the spiritual convocation. More people's uh, spirituality uh, can be lived up. Uh, more people can be edified spiritually. I pray that God guide and bless the evangelical service. More truth seekers can come and more people can, get, can be converted uh, to receive the salvation. And that is the way we serve God. Uh, so in the next one month, uh, let us try to pray for church event. Uh, and that's the way we serve God. Now here talk about uh, Anna. How did she pray? Not only she prayed in the temple. Oh, you talk about uh, serve God with fasting and prayer. Oh, fasting. Fasting means what? No eat, no drink. Right? Oh, fasting is not easy, right? If you ask people in Africa to fast, it's very simple for them. But if you ask the people here to fast, it's so difficult. Why? Because in Africa, people, their all stomach are always empty. So that's not a big business. Right? It's trivial because I'm always hungry. So fast one meal is fine. But here, uh, we eat a lot of good food. Uh, we drink a lot of uh, delicious drink. Uh, fast is so difficult. Uh, since fast is so difficult, if we really fasting, that means we really suffer, make ourselves physically suffer. And why should we suffer? Oh, it, because that is a way to show our sincerity. Although in order to show I'm very sincere to pray for somebody or to pray for myself, uh, I'm abstain from enjoying a meal. Oh, I remember in one of the SSC, uh, uh, during the first two, three days, uh, nobody received Holy Spirit. Oh, nobody. Uh, so one of the old workers just encourage uh, the students just, just like in your age. Now, after the morning prayer, finish. That worker said, now, you look into the kitchen, right? It, um, it really uh, 
Very tempting, right? There is coffee, there is cereal, there is a lot of good food, right? But if you really want to receive Holy Spirit, you try, you fast and pray. If you really want to be filled by the Holy Spirit, you try, you fast and pray. Hey, after he mentioned this, just dismiss, right? Say, uh, say grace for, uh, say prayer for, for breakfast. And some, uh, only one, two or three people, uh, the youth, uh, the, the young people like you, uh, stay in the church and fast in prayer. And the second day, uh, three or four people, hey, eh, start to have some people receive Holy Spirit. And to the end of the, that SEC, uh, a lot of people receive Holy Spirit. All start from fasting prayer. Uh, but nowadays, every day we is so good, right? So fasting prayer, one meal, that will not make you a malnutrition. Uh, that will not make you sick, no problem. If you fast one meal, let your stomach rest. It's healthy. It's good for you. Oh. So how can we serve God? We learn from Anna. Oh. If possible, come to the church Sabbath for morning prayer. If possible, come to the church for Sunday morning prayer. Oh. Pray for the church. Pray for those who come to church. Pray for the truth seeker. How should we pray? Of course, you can pray, but if you like, you also can consider fasting prayer. And that is the way we serve God. And, and God will bless us. If we pray for somebody, somebody receive Holy Spirit, we will be so joyful. God, this is my prayer. Right? If we pray for somebody and somebody receives the blessing, we will be so joyful. Why? Because through our prayer, the person receives the blessing of God. Oh, so that kind of joy coming from sowing in tears. When we pray, we, we so the tears, or sometimes not tears, right? Uh, we, we physically, we, we exhausted. Uh, we pay some price, and other people can receive benefit. Oh. So now we are going to pray about 15 minutes. Oh. Let's pray for Holy Spirit, and pray for other people, and pray for spiritual convocation. They come forward and pray.